Hello friends and welcome to church. My name is Pastor Bruce Dickerson and I'm the lead pastor here at Jerome Church. I'm so excited to join us for worship this day as we continue our sermon series titled Broken. Now in this series, I'll be preaching from Paul's letter to the Romans. So I want you to, uh, if you have a Bible, go and start reading from Romans. If you can look it up on your phones, just read the whole letter from Paul to the Romans church. But Paul's letter is actually addressing a people he had never met to encourage and build up this community he dreamed of traveling to someday. He knew the Christian life was difficult and the world in which the church was growing and spreading was unpredictable and increasingly diverse. In this series, covering some of the letter's most intriguing and inspiring passages, we learn how God sustains us amid brokenness, both within and without, helping us find wholeness and unity no matter what crisis we face. Let us prepare our hearts for praise and worship.
Hello Church, my name is Sarah Merriweather and I'm the Executive Director here at Jerome. As we prepare to hear today's message, I want to invite you to connect with us during this time of our online worship together. During worship today, you can use the chat or the comment function on any platform that you're watching on to share your thoughts or your prayer concerns with our staff and our online worshiping congregation. I also invite you to connect to Church Center, which is our app and our online resource that virtually connects you to things like our Connect card, signups for upcoming events, worship videos and resources, kids and family resources, and our online giving platform so that you can support the ministries and missions of Jerome Church. You can scan the QR code on the screen to connect or visit us online at jeromechurch.org slash church dash center. Today we're continuing our new series called Broken as we're diving into Paul's letter to the Romans. So let's hear today's message from Pastor Bruce. Would you pray with me, friends? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. Friends, life is hard, even, maybe, and especially as Christians. You see, we live in a world that as Christians, we try to hold accountable to rules the world does not understand and dwell in a world that sees a Christian way of life as hostile towards it. It is a broken and confusing world, and here we sit, praying, Come, Lord Jesus, come asking, when will you return? We look forward to that day. Hear these words from Romans 8, 12 through 25, written to a people who are also awaiting that day. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but it is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeed of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his suffering in order that we may also share in his glory. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, and hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom of glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth, right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies, for in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. When hope for what we already have, who hopes for what already that they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Paul is writing his letter to the Roman church with the same pain and confusion of our broken world in mind. Christians in many places are suffering at the hands of the Roman government, and many wait with the same anticipation and as they wonder if the glorious reappearing of the risen Christ will soon occur. It is from this Roman world that Paul offers the Roman church and us a message of comfort and empowerment. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. But this status is not a mark of privilege. 
as co-heirs with Christ, we suffer with Christ, that we may also share in his glory. We suffer with Christ so that we can be glorified with Christ. See, Paul tells the people that the suffering of this day is nothing compared to the glory about to be revealed and us, to us, for us. All creation is waiting like a woman in childbirth, pushing and stretching through the labor pains to see the revealing of the children of God. Labor pain is not a fruitless pain. The pain serves a purpose. It's to help the body prepare to push the new life out, the new child. The labor came, comes with the promise of new life emerging. We are that new life, ever forming and reforming under God's loving, grace-filled hands. Like those to whom Paul was writing, the glorious birth may or may not be in our lifetime. We are still being transformed into the people God created us to be in the beginning. God's Spirit is still working with us, pushing us, guiding us, convicting us, and transforming us to live as the new creations we were made in Christ. However, this change does not just happen. It's a journey. It's a discipline. We experience temptation in this world. We want to fight against the push, the labor pains that are moving each of us into being new creations in Christ and struggling to remain in the flesh instead of living in the Spirit. We struggle to change and move away from the habits, the old vices, the brokenness, the status quo, and even the comfort found in the brokenness we know versus the new creations we will become. The labor pains of this rebirth are uncomfortable, yet we need to trust in God that through the discomfort and pain that God is using all, all of it to recreate, to change, and transform us. Remember, there is nothing, no struggle, no trauma, no pain, no situation that God can't use to redeem us, to strengthen us, to bring new life. A new life, the new creations we were meant to be in the beginning. Friends, lean into the birthing pains of this new creation. Fall away from the brokenness and comfort of maybe our old brokenness, our old vices, our own sinful nature. Lean into Christ and the creation God meant for us to be. May it be so. Thanks be to God. Amen. It's good to be with you again in worship today. Today we're continuing our new series called Broken as we're considering the ways that God delivers wholeness and unity in the midst of this world's chaos and brokenness. As we continue in worship together today, I want to invite you again to connect to all of the resources in Church Center, which is our online hub for engaging with the ministries of Jerome Church. While you're there, please be sure to check into worship or complete your Connect card today and take some time to explore all of the opportunities in the app, including upcoming events and ways to volunteer in a local mission or to grow deeper in your faith by participating in an upcoming class or study. One of the ways that you can join in the work of serving others through the missions and ministries of Jerome Church is by supporting our Habitat for Humanity and our Help Build Hope wall build that will be held on Saturday, September 9th. For the fourth year, we will come together during this event as a church and as a community to build the walls of a family home that will be donated to a partner Habitat for Humanity organization. 
You can support the wall build by signing up to volunteer. You could choose to lead a work team, or you could even support this event financially by making a donation or by becoming an event sponsor. Scan the QR code on the screen to learn more and also to register or to donate to the wall build. Two other opportunities that are coming up this fall include our adult mission trip to Appalachia Service Project, which will be held September 28th through October 1st, and our Fall Fest Craft and Vendor Show, which is coming up October 13th and 14th. You can learn more about all of the upcoming opportunities at Jerome Church, as well as view the calendar and connect the signups through the Church Center app or by visiting our website at jeromechurch.org. The people of Jerome Church are committed to the mission that Jesus gave us to love God and love people, and you can support the missions and ministries of this church by giving a financial offering today. You can give electronically through the link in today's video description, on the Jerome Church website, or through the Give tab in the Church Center app. And if you have made the decision to give for the first time today, I want to say thank you and let you know that you can connect to our online giving platform by texting the word GIVE to 614-587-7871. You can also give through automatic withdrawal by contacting the church office or by mailing a check to Jerome Church at the address on the screen below. As we end our time of worship together today, I want to say thank you for making this worship time an important part of your week, whether you're joining us live on Sunday morning or watching later on demand. I want to invite you to connect with us online this week through our social media platforms, as well as in the Church Center app, and know that we are looking forward to worshiping with you this next week as we continue our new series together. Have a blessed week, friends. This is the kingdom, this is